Hi, and welcome to a SonicWall Firewall video tutorial. My name is Micah Vorst. Today we'll set up and configure the WAN Group VPN feature on a SonicWall Firewall, which provides end users access to network resources while working remotely or on the road. Once we've configured the firewall, we'll jump over to an end user and download the free software called Global VPN Client, or GVC. We'll configure GVC and test to make sure we can access internal resources. One thing to note, GVC is only available for Windows. To configure the WAN Group VPN, we'll need to do the following. Create a DHCP scope, if we aren't going to use an existing scope. Create a user. Enable WAN Group VPN. Configure the VPN over DHCP. Download GVC. And lastly, configure and test the network connection. Let's go ahead and log into the firewall. I'll be using an NSA 6650 on SonicOS 6.5.2 firmware. Once logged in, the firewall will back up our settings file by going to Manage, Firmware and Backups, Import slash Export Configuration, and Export Configuration. Let's go ahead and save that now to a Downloads folder. Once the settings are saved, navigate to Network DHCP Server. If you have an existing DHCP scope that you want your GVC users to use, then you're done here. We'll create a new scope that will segment our GVC users from the rest of the network. Click Add Dynamic. We'll give it a start and end range. For us, we don't need a large pool, so I'll do a slash 27. Click the DNS tab. We can either inherit DNS settings automatically from the firewall or specify manually. If you have your own internal DNS servers, use them. For now, I'm just going to throw in some default DNS servers. Under the Advanced tab, we do have administrative options for VoIP, Network, or DHCP. We don't need any of those for now, so click OK. Next, we'll create the user who will use GVC to log in remotely. Navigate to Users, Local Users and Groups. Click Add. I'll create the user and give it a password. GVC user and password. All right, let's click the Groups tab. For now, the default is fine. I'll give GVC access to all trusted users. You can create a custom group if you need to restrict access by groups. Next, click the VPN Access tab. For this demo, I'll give our users access to the X0 subnet. By default, that's the 192.168.168.0/24 network. If you have a different network or different company resources, now is the time to add them to this list. Click OK. Now, we'll enable WAN Group VPN by going to VPN and Base Settings. We'll configure the policy first and then turn it on. Click the Edit icon next to the policy. The first tab allows us to set up our security policy. We'll use the default Ike with pre-shared key. However, you can configure it to include a certificate that has been validated by the firewall. A shared secret key provides additional security for first-time authentication. We'll configure our policy so that end users will have to type the shared secret key upon the first connection, and subsequent connections will only require a username and password. Click the Proposals tab. I'll use the default settings. Your organization may require additional security measures. For example, enabling perfect forward secrecy or changing the authentication level. Next, click the Advanced tab. This page provides administrative options such as managing the firewall via GVC or allowing multicast. At the bottom of the page, we can change which group is allowed to authenticate. Our user that we created was in the Trusted Users group, so this will be fine. 
If you have a custom group, you'll want to change this section. Our last page is the Client tab. We can allow caching of credentials under the Cache XAuth username and password on client. I'll change the virtual adapter settings under Client Connections to DHCP Lease. We can control how GVC interacts with connections on the end user. Either we can force all traffic through the firewall or simply provide access to company resources. I'll keep the default method of split tunnels for now. On the bottom of the page, we can disable the shared secret for first time connection. I want users to use the shared secret when establishing their first connection, so we'll keep this unchecked. After we click OK, Confirm that the main VPN checkbox is enabled, and then enable the WAN group VPN policy by clicking the checkbox. Next, we'll configure DHCP by clicking DHCP over VPN. Click Configure, select Use Internal DHCP Server, and then also select For Global VPN Client. I'll want to specify which DHCP pool I want my clients to use, so I'll use the Relay IP. Keep in mind this IP must be in the same subnet of the DHCP pool that we created earlier and should be a reserved IP address or not in the pool of available addresses. For now, let's use 192.168.3.1.1. And click OK. OK, we've configured WAN Group VPN on the firewall. Next, we'll jump over to the client, download the application, and then log in and test the connection. On the client, head over to mysonicwall.com. Click the Help icon and then Downloads icon. Select the product Global VPN Client. Change the type to firmware. I'll select the general release version. Scroll all the way down to 64-bit version of GVC and click the download icon. Once GVC has been downloaded and is installed on the machine, we need to provide the public IP or fully qualified domain name of the firewall. I'll copy the gateway IP of the firewall Click File, New. I'll go through the prompts, paste the gateway IP, and click Finish. Once that's complete, I'll copy the pre-shared key. I'll enable the profile. It will attempt to connect to the firewall. It will ask for the pre-shared key. I'll paste that in. And then it will prompt for the username and password. Great, we're connected. We can view the status page to view the IP address that was assigned to us, as well as the current routes that were provided to us. We can ping something behind the X0 subnet. Let's go ahead and ping 192.168.168.200. Great, we have a response. Now we're free to access company resources, such as internal web servers, time clock applications, or file servers. Thanks for watching. To learn more about configuring SonicWall products, visit www.sonicwall.com support.